show you. So please snuggle in close. Over here. I showered a couple weeks ago. There he is. There you go, Luke. Oh, good. Thank you, Luke. On one side of me. Good. Okay. See those two guys there? See the handsome one with the luxurious hair? Who's that? Thank you. They're both pretty good looking. I, I was thinner and I had hair once. That, can you describe? What am I wearing? Tell everybody. Loudly. A robe. A robe. A red robe. I graduated from seminary in 1991. I was extremely young and precocious. Uh, so that, that's, that's a photo, right? I keep that in my office. Here's another one in my office. What's this of? Who's that? That's me, being very skinny. Wow, look at that. Um, uh, on a ladder, helping with Habitat for Humanity here in the church a long time ago. I kind of keep that in my office, too. That was a fun, that was a mission trip to New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. Here's me with another handsome guy. That's my really good friend, Raimundo Barreto, who's a Brazilian pastor. I've been to Brazil many times because of him. All right. Here's me and my very best friend. His name is Russ. I just saw him recently for my birthday. When I met him, can you believe it? He came up to my waist. We were both 14. I was six feet tall. He was 5'2". Look at him now. He's 6'3", and I'm still six feet, <laughs> but a lot wider than I used to be. His name is Russ. He's my best friend. Here is someone I want to show you. This is also my... Isn't that a pretty lady? Right? This is a woman named Mary who was a long time and beloved member of this church and we lost her pretty recently but I keep this picture here. It's a wonderful photo of her and I remember Mary with this picture, okay? Here's me when I was really strong. What am I doing? Carrying a kid. I'm carrying a kid, yeah. I'm flipping a little boy out of the, out of the water in Cape May, New Jersey with both of my arms that little boy is back there now. He's like 6'1 and 200 pounds, and I can't do that anymore. So I do that. I also had brown hair. I wanted to remember that, too, so I keep that photo. Here's me and my daughter. What, am I, what are we doing there? We're in a carriage in Central Park. We had just gone to see, what's the name of the, is it Eloise who lives in the, in the, pal, the, in the hotel? We had just gone to see, you can tell I really had a great day that day. I did have a great day because I was with my daughter and it was important to her. We went to see Eloise at the Plaza Hotel and then we took a ride in Central Park. And here are those little babies now, right? Do you have any photos that you like to see, like in your house? What are your favorite ones? Um, there were kissing babies? Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, all right. Any other f famous photos in your house that you like? Do you have poop? My favorite photos is like photos of my cat sleeping. Photos of your cat sleeping, yeah. And not online? You mean like real photos? Not, not just cat, photo, cat pictures online, but, but in, your, in your house? Yeah. Well, you have pictures of your cat sleeping. That's cool. Any other ones? Why do we have pictures? Why do we keep them? Um, to remember things. To remember. That's exactly right. I think remembering is one thing we do with photos, but I think they do even more than that. I think when we look at a picture of someone we love, maybe we, they're not with us anymore or we haven't seen them in a long time, or a cat that we love who's snoozing, uh, I could take pictures of people sleeping here in the pews sometimes. That would be nice. It would bring back nice memories of mine. Yeah. Not only do we remember them, we're kind of transported back to them. They're, we're kind of with them again in a way. You know, when I look at some of these pictures, I'm sort of, I remember not only what it was like, I sort of go back there and I can feel what it was like again too. Do you see this table right in front of me? That's a photo of something. What is it a photo? What is it a picture of? And bread and juice, that's right. Of course, what's the answer to every question in, in a children's sermon? Jesus, exactly. <laughs> Right? That's a picture of what Jesus did for us. It doesn't look like a man or a person, 
But that's what it is. It's a photo of Jesus. The bread is supposed to symbolize his body, the juice, his blood, and he sacrificed it so that we could be, get back together with God, get back together to the person that God wants us to be, that we could love and be loved fully and completely by God. And so we're just, and Jesus even said, whenever you eat this meal together, do this in remembrance of me. Like he said, a picture helps you remember. But our church also believes that by the power of the Spirit that we can't even see, we can just feel it, when we enter into this picture with Jesus, we're transported back with him. We get to be in his presence. He's right here with us, and we're right there with him. A photo has a powerful uh, function in our lives because it takes us back, but so does this table. It takes us right into Jesus' presence. And so whenever you come up here and grab a little piece of bread and have some juice, you're actually in the presence of God. You're with God. It's a pretty amazing thing to think about it because when you're with God, anything good can happen, I promise you. Especially, you can feel loved. So, I want you to go home, take a look at your cat photos. Right? Take a look at what, what the photos are that your parents have around your house because those tell the story of your life. They're really important not only to remember the story, but to relive it again and again and again. That's what we do in worship. We relive the story again and again. Can you do a repeat after me prayer with me really loudly? Okay, let's, let's, let's try it. Dear God, Dear God thank you for the pictures, thank you for the pictures. All, around us, all around us, in our memories, all around us. in our hearts. Thank you, for remembering, thank you for remembering, and thank you for transporting us right back to what we're remembering especially your love amen thank you kids very much great job